Andrew Tate became a Muslim? Oh my god. Asteroid, stay. Stay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my brother Andrew. Congratulations and welcome to Islam. However, there's some things I need to tell you, bro. Muslims can be one of the most embracing and loving and caring and generous people that you will ever, ever meet. But some of us are the most judgmental, critical people on earth. Let me just give you a preview of some of the things that you might come across as a Muslim. Brother, brother, why you have a tattoo, eh? Why you wear the sunglass inside the masjid, brother? Astaghfirullah. Bro, I uh, noticed that your uh, pants are below your ankles. Better roll up your pants, man. Yeah. Your sunglasses are bid'ah, bro. Your shoes are bid'ah. Your Bugatti is bid'ah, bro. Astaghfirullah. Haram. Haram. It upsets me when I see people gatekeeping in Islam as if Islam belonged to them in the first place. Um, people like Khalid ibn al-Walid radiallahu an and Wahshi, a lot of people uh, were the, once the enemies of Islam, but then they became Muslim. And we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives everything. So from one convert to another convert, I have some advice for you, bro, from the heart. You know that guy that you were praying with in the video in the masjid in Dubai? Yeah, stick with him. Because there's going to be a lot of people that come around you and say, Hey, Andrew, you need to do this. You need to do this. You need to do that. And another guy says, Wait, wait, wait. That guy told you this? No, 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 no. You need to be doing this, man. Advice from another brother? Look, keep your circle really, really, really small. Because there's going to be a lot of people that are around you for the wrong reasons. First things first, sit down with a sheikh or a teacher who is reputable and you can just sit with him, you can ask him questions about Islam and you can learn from him because he has an isnad, he has like an ijazah to teach. I know for a fact that you converted to Islam because you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last prophet. So don't worry about what the people say, don't worry about how they treat you. Your relationship between God and yourself is exclusive. Nobody on earth can be super Muslim. So just pace yourself, bro. Everybody remember that Andrew Tate came to Islam because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose him. Remember that. Tate has confirmed that he is a Muslim. Allahu Akbar. You can see over here that he is quoting the Quran. Here he is quoting none other than Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah. Islam is not in need of validation from anybody. But you have to ask yourself a question. Why is it that an individual who's got absolutely everything anybody could want choose a religion like Islam? There's obviously something that he saw in it as a solution to the problems of mankind. So if you're a non-Muslim and you're seeing this, just think about why he did it and consider Islam yourself. So Andrew Tate announces that he is Muslim. Alhamdulillah. May Allah keep him steadfast. Ameen. I just wanted to share one initial thought. More thoughts to come later, inshallah. Brother Andrew became the most famous person on the internet because he unapologetically attacked feminism and the liberal world order. That is what made him unique and propelled him to the pinnacles of fame and that is also what seems to have made him realize that islam is the true solution to feminism and the liberal world order christianity can't do it these other religions can't do it islam is the only solution and now there's potential for millions to follow him this shows that the watered down sugar-coated dawah that bends over backwards to appease feminists and liberals is dead there is no bigger evidence for for how ineffective that approach is than Andrew Tate. If you like our content, then please make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for latest updates. Thank you.